guys, welcome back to Stuff and Things. First up today, we are going to be talking about wolves. After that, some poor, poor Incan mummies. And then we talk monogamy strategies. First up for today, sometimes people get an idea in their head that they're going to fix something, and then they go ahead and do that, and then it just makes the whole situation worse. And then sometimes, even rarer, we go back and we fix that mistake. We just kind of make everything the way it was before we touched it. That's all just a kind of a balance. That's right for that. Back in the 70s, wolves were removed from Yellowstone Park. Why, you may ask? Well, to reduce the predators. Well, in 91, they decided that that was probably not the best idea, and they reintroduced the wolves back into the park, and then it turned out to be, like, fantastic for bear populations. It seems the wolves were pivotal in controlling the elk population, those stupid things that keep breeding and eating all the delicious berries. Says the thing, bears during the summer need to eat a ton of berries. It's very beneficial to them. It's a very important part of their diets. Well, less elks meant more berries for the bears meant, well, better bears. Next up, life in Mesoamerica was probably really tough. I mean, the heat, the humidity, the daily human sacrifices, the hard work, and unless you were a priest, which seems fairly common. A study by Dr. Emma Brown of the University of Bradford in the UK revealed new info about three mummies discovered back in 99 near the summit of Lulelaco, a volcano in Argentina. All the mummies were children and all had copious amounts of drugs and alcohol. The oldest child was a 13-year-old girl, and the other two children were a boy and a girl, about age 4 to 5. Analysis of the 13-year-old girl's hair showed that uh, she was living it up in that last year of her life. She had a healthier diet, including more fattier foods and all the cocoa leaves she could eat. And then weeks before she died, she had a ton of alcohol. The kids were left in tombs at the volcano and they were so doped up on everything else that they just kind of faded away as they slowly suffocated. Sure, it kind of sucks, but at least they didn't feel anything. And lastly today, even though monogamy is like hardcore in Western culture, it is so rare outside of our human species. Only 9% of all mammal species are, you know, living the married life. So why have we stuck with it for so long? And why does it even happen at all? We're still undecided. Two enormous studies have just been published regarding the subject. Dr. Dieter Lucas of University of Cambridge and Dr. Kit Opie of UC London, who were principal authors on each of the studies, came up to this entirely different conclusions. Dr. Lucas looked at the entire mammal species, which is about 2,500 plus species, and found that only 61 times did it happen that those within those species monogamy happened. And it seemed to be driven by females trying to get space from other females, which in turn made the males become more fatherly, you know, the, the good dad not going off into the woods trying to find other ladies to sleep with and, and drink and, and do all those horrible things. Dr. Opie, on the other hand, only looked at about 230 primate species, and he came up with a much more grim scenario, infanticide, or rather the threat of it. See, in other mammals, like, for say, lions, it's very common for the alpha male to just go around and eat the other male's children because, you know, they're a threat to his lineage. So his theory is that this actually forced males to just stay with the woman after she, you know, gave birth and all that so he could protect his lineage. And then, you know, again, just develop fatherly traits from that point on. So guys, our question for you today is, do you think in those wildlife preservation areas, do you think humans should just, like, hands off, just let the animals do what they need to do, and, and they'll balance out naturally, you know? And of course, if you like what you've seen, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons where they happen to be, and we'll check you out in the next video.